Woohoo! This is the death of Wimbledon as far as I'm concerned. And the local businessman who made it happen walked on water. Maybe it was the right or wrong way for Milton Keynes to find its football, but find its football it has and we've kicked the ball today. Welcome back to Big Hell the Nerd and today's episode of the Winkleman Way as we have the FA Cup third round and the uh, rivalry game against AFC Wimbledon in which we win the first one. This one, that was what five games into the season. This is the second uh, game against them at home. Should be a good result. If we show you the schedule then, we left you after the uh, penalty win over Forest Green. We then beat Shrewsbury 2-0. Nice win there. We then lost. Lost our second game of the season, not since, what was it? Gillingham in the third game of the league cup, of League One. We lost five two. We got absolutely destroyed. Everything that Callum O'Hare or Sam Mantum touched went in. If you look at the stats, it was ridiculous. We had 23 shots, 16 on target. Look at this. Their goalie was on fire. Look at the amount of saves that they had. They had, yeah, two shots. Well, what did they have? I'm sorry. That's a lie. They had seven shots all to call. Five went in. We had 16 shots, only two went in. I mean, look, talk about ratios. It just wasn't good enough. But everything O'Hare touched and Mantum touched was just ridiculous. They caught us on the counter a couple of times. We scored our goals real late on. Um, 87th and 88th minute, we got two goals back. So we were 5-0 down for a lot of that game. Um, and it was painful. It was real painful. But we had to lose sometimes, I suppose. And that was the loss. That was away. We then away, when it played Rotherham away. We were a bit shaky, but we got the three goals. We won 3-2 in the end. Um, they got the goal back to make it 2-2 in the 87th minute. And we had Callum Gribben score an excellent uh, volley in the 92nd minute, which gave us the win. We did one 2 0 against Plymouth, 2 0 against Peterborough, back at home doing the business. And in 3 0, a win against Oxford away. So it doesn't seem to be a home away thing here. It seems to be a, a calibre of team. Well, those come for, I think, are doing crap. Well, 14th. We've got Robbie Fowler as manager, though, so I'm putting down to that. They're attacking prowess. But today we take on Blackpool, who are in the same league as us. They're 18th, I think. But we got them in the FA Cup third round. So can we get through to the fourth round? Continue this FA Cup dream. We'll play Rochdale off camera and then we'll be back for AFC Wimbledon at home. So, let's get into the team. Let's have a look. Actually, let's, before we do that, before we do, let's look at League One. We're still top of League One. We are currently, look at that, man. 26 games, 22 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. The least amount of losses by a long chalk. Um, what even is that? 19 points clear of Blackburn at the moment? 19 points clear of Blackburn. League 1, eh? Bossed it. Absolutely bossed it. So let's have a look at the team we've got. I think these are all good. This is our full strength team. Everyone seems to be okay. A lot of people are wanting to leave. We brought in Eddie and Ketcher. In case we lost so in the January, or in case we do lose so in the January transfer window, I think he's okay. He's wanted, but he's happy to stay. We've had the chat. I got Gibson, uh, no, who's it? Who did I get? I can't remember. I got someone, maybe Lewington, to talk to him. And he's happy to stay now. So hopefully we'll keep him. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the team and how they progress at the moment. So uh, we'll keep everything as it is. We're going to play on a defensive formation to start, which is the, the retained possession, because we are away against Blackpool. It is the FA Cup, but they're probably going to come at us. I don't want to go out and attack and lose goals early on. So we're going to go with the, def the retained possession defensive to start and see what happens. Um, who have they got? They're playing a 4-4-2 as well. So we've got to watch out. They're going to have two strikers, so they could catch us. But again, if we're not trying to push too hard, we shouldn't get caught on the counter. Jay Spear in the midfield there for him. And then Cullen and Agu, who is pretty quick. Let's go for an assertive. Um, go out there and carry on. So, game is underway. Let's... I am just going to mark up their front two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just to make sure we're keeping track of what's going on. But first highlight, here we are. Okay. Just to keep them, keep them pinned. I'm, I'm worried that the FA Cup, I don't want to lose this. Cause we've got an easy round in the third round, in the FA Cup third round. I don't want to go out. Howlett here comes forward. Oh, good ball in, no one goes for it. Can we go again? Howlett. Into a guard. Nesbitt. So... Oh, Williams with the save wasn't quite strong enough. It looks like they're dropping one of their strikers back as well when it gets into that defensive formation. As they come forward now. Aggie. Daniel. All inside. Statesman claims it. Good. Let's get him some safe hands on the ball. 
early on. Get him some, uh, some confidence. Daniel comes forward again, though. Another ball inside. And Cullen scored. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. That's what we do. Crossing in from the side in the goal, and the bloody striker scored. One shot on target, one goal again. And we've had three and got bloody nothing. The ball goes outside to Daniel. Look, you're supposed to be marking him, mate. How has he got around behind you? Is that Wooten? Wooten. Bloody Wooten. I've got Ebanks Landon on the bench in case I need to. But yeah, look at these. We're dominating our shots again, but... How can you have four shots on target and not get any goals? Ow, and that guard's picked up an injury. Oh, sugar. This could not be going to plan. Right, here we go. Goal born with the ball. Let's, let's, let's push now, boys. So, Aneke. Into So. Can you put it inside? Go on. Ugbo's there. Ugbo! Yes! Great goal by Ugbo with his head. Well done, So, for making that happen. 1-1. One, one. That gives me a bit more confidence. So Goldborn here has the throw in. Throws into Sal. Lays inside to Neke. Gives it back to him down on the wing. God knows why Nesbitt's not going down the wing. But Sal gets it in front. Lays it inside. He's got one man to hit. Their defender comes forward rather than staying with Ugbo. And boom. He doesn't miss those headers. And poor performances out there defensively though. 6.5s all over the shop. But we make it to half time as 1-1. We've lit absolutely dominated. 13 shots. 6 on target. Not great on target ratio I have to say. Uh, but let's give him a... Uh, what is he saying to do? Challenge him to prove a point. Assertive. Okay, good. That kind of worked. Right, you're not playing well. You're not playing well. You're not playing well. So, if I'm not happy with your performances. Good. They look fired up. All right, let's send them back out. We've been doing okay. They've only had the one shot on target, which they have scored. So, I'm kind of... I'm okay to leave this as it is. I was thinking about going to the attacking tactic, but... If we keep as we are, we should be okay. I say that now as they come forward. They're going to get another counter goal. Don't let them have two shots on target, two goals. They'll fall on the way they do. And they came. Oh, my God. Saitsmo. Did he clear that or did it hit the bar? But we just could nearly cocked that up then. Freaking hell. Two shots on target. Nearly had two goals. The fence is still playing awfully. Right, let's bring off Wooten because he definitely made the mistake. Let's bring on Ebex Landel. Give him a concentrate. Oh, come on. I mean, if we force this to a home uh, tie, second tie, I think I'm okay with it. Um, Gilby's coming off for ups and ups and looks like he's got more fire in his belly. Gilby hasn't quite been the same since uh, he came back, since he had his injury. Clear now. Goldborn. Right, here we go. Into Nesbitt. Can we, can we attack? Nesbitt. Inside to Sal. Not a great ball. Ugbo. Oh. Oh. That came from nothing. That was a shit ball to Sal. He's nodded it on and Ugbo nails that on the volley. Two goals from Ugbo, two assists from Sal. Nesbitt here, this was just a lazy ball. We should be running. He thought, now nah, bugger it, I'll just play it early. Sal had two defenders on him, managed to beat him. Ugbo sneaks in again. 2-1. Uh, let's give him another shout. Let's give him a tighten up. We've already got the defensive formation on. There's not much more we can do. Five minutes of added time. One goal up. Can we hold on to this? His defensive formation has not worked too badly, to be honest. They've got to one striker now. Upson. Goal ball. Come on, let's get another one. No, don't give it away there. Jesus. Oh, good. Full time. Apparently, we were outstanding. I didn't think so. Ugbo was, definitely. But defensively, we were a bit poor. We might have to look at the, the tactical instructions there on the defensive tactic. Because that didn't work. A good win, boys. Well done. We'll take that. Um, I should have given Ugbo a special little chat, but we'll do that in the play of the match thing. So we're through. We're through the FA Cup third round. It wasn't pretty, but we got there, which means we're now in the fourth round. And hopefully we either get an easy draw again, or we get the big team now at home. We will see. Hopefully the big team at home. Fourth round will be nice as we're in League One. Um, but MK Jones come from behind to win. Nicely done. We will now go away. How long is our guard out for? Three to four weeks. Well, Ugbo, luckily you came back, mate, because, uh, where's the thing that says you played well? Oh, I can't give him the man of match thing. Um, because he's going to be playing a bit more. But we will play this Watchdale game offline or off camera, say or say, and then I will be back for the AFC Wimbledon game. Can we get that second win against AFC Wimbledon, that head-to-head -head clash? 
Okay, here we are, back for the AFC Wimbledon game. I literally just got into the game and completely forgot to start recording them again. Um, so, we are lining up with States Marine Goal, Goldborn, Wooten, Walsh and Williams as the back four, Nesbitt, Gilby, Upson and Powlett with Sal and Ugbo up top. After that injury to a guard, he is now out for a couple of weeks. And Neke needs a bit of a rest. So Upson and Gilby are starting in the middle. And that's about it. We've not had much. We brought on Joe Cole on trial. He uh, probably won't play or we won't sign him but i'm trying to convince him to become a coach we can bring him in because i love joe cole he's my favorite player when i was growing up um and also we've had bids for so but we've managed to reject them by you know pushing them too high i was only i was asking for 10 million spread over clauses and stuff um but they said no they didn't want to do a deal he hasn't reacted badly to it so i think we're okay on that front other than that we're going for this we're at home we're attacking we want the win against afc wimbledon but yeah we're nine seconds in. We've just we've just kicked off. So straight into the game. Oh great, Nesbitt got injured within nine minutes, and we have got Gribbin on the bench. So Gribbin goes in. He played the last game. I was giving him a rest this game, but he's back in. We still need to keep playing him there. He's still not quite comfortable as a left winger. But I was talking to my good friend, Mr. GWFM, who has him in his Tranmere save, and he's done the same thing. Played him out on the left. And said it only takes him a few games to get used to it. Powlett here with the goal. Osman So with the assist. I am not selling that man. He cannot leave this club because we will flop. We need him. We're taking him to the championship with us. The group in here does well. Unfortunately, the ball we played wasn't great. And then Sal comes in and says, look, mate, this is how you do it. Boom, back post. Powlett in. Flying header. What a goal. Highlight straight from kickoff here. 12 minutes in. We're pushing hard. They've gone for the long ball. We will, we will collect those. All day long. All day long. Not sleeps, mate. They're taking his sweet ass time about it. Right, Ugbo. No. Ah, a player. Walsh with a nice slide. This is one of those real long key highlights. Paulet, long ball. Breaks the line. Sal. Through. Oh, he's gone for goal. He could have laid it across to Ugbo. Yeah, Ugbo straight in after his couple of goals last time. We did beat Rochdale as well. Um, comfortably. I think it was 2 0 in the end or 3 0 in the end. It was easy. We're back in now. Sal finds Gribbin. Gribbin back post. Ugbo. Oh, not a great ball. Not a great ball from Gribbin there. Too high. He swings a nice corner. And, oh, that pings around. It's nice having Gribbin on the pitch because he is a good set piece taker. And free kick taker. So, well, that is a set piece, I suppose. But it's nice having him in the pitch if we can get him on the pitch if we can get him on. But Nesbitt is very good as well as left winger. Sal now. He was on side. Ugbo. Ah, heads to the goalie. Paulette. Inside, Sal, heads. That was weird. I oh, flicked it on. Flicked it on, no one went for it. But so far, 20 minutes in, it seems like a bit of domination here. FC Women have only two shots, and they've both been long shots. Oh, as Walsh puts that away, Gribbin trickles a little free kick. Just drops it in there. Walsh beats the defender to it and just pokes it in the bottom corner. Look at this, L little floater. Sal heads on. Walsh then puts it away. Is that another assist for Osman? Two assists for Asman So. Oh, advance forward. Not even getting the goals. He's setting everyone else up now. He's on the break of a landmark. I think 21 goals is their record. The current record for MK Duns. And he's about to smash that now. And we are wherever we are just after Christmas. It's crazy. At half time. 2 0 up. Cruising to a victory here. Let's go in with an assertive. Don't get complacent because they're likely to come out and try and get us. Gribbin is looking complacent, which is not good. Let's give him there's a lot more to come from you. Listen nervously. I like that. I'm a bit of, you know, don't get complacent, boy. Your place in the team isn't secure yet. Gilby, I'm going to give a. There's a lot more to come from you. He's really not performing since he's come back from injury. Up where Upson has. Upson really shined in his place. So it might be Upson and Aneke go forward as the, f the first choice. And then uh, Gilby comes in as the sub. 56 minutes in. Another corner in. Oh, no. How has that not gone in? Gilby now. No. Didn't get his shot away. Great free uh, corner in there, though. Three shots. We had three cracks at that and didn't get it. AFC can't seem to put put a couple of passes together to get forward, but they've managed to, to make it to the box. Powlett cuts them out. Nicely done, boys. Nicely defended. Williams now with a throw. Powlett. Upson. To Gilby. What's he got? Into Ah, look at that pass, man. Oh my god, and the pie is through. 
Oh, he's put it wide. Gilby giving away a ball un completely unpressurized. He could have done whatever he wanted there, and he's managed to give it away. I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to bring him off. I'm going to bring CC on because I like it when CC plays the box to box. Plus, I promised him some more game time. Um, and Paulette's not exactly fit, is he? Let's go over those three subs. We'll give McGrandles a run out as well. Cissé now on the ball. First touch. Here we go. Upson. Into McGrandles. Cuts it back. Osmond's soul. That's what you McGrandles on for. Look at that. He's like, soul, you've had enough. Stop setting people up now. You need to get your goal. Cissé here. Plays it into Upson. Upson. What a pass. Feel that channel there. Oof. McGrandles. One touch. Inside. Osmond's soul. Does not miss from there. 3-0 up against AFC Wimbledon. They have got no chance. Look at them. Statesman is even saving the ball. This is how good we are. 20 minutes left. Can we get another goal? Come on, let's give him a smashing. Tissé into Sal. Oh, it's 4-0. <sighs> Who's the true dons? Who's the true dons? I think we might be the true dons. I think it might be us. Sissé here, look at him, calm, as you like, with an assist. Good work. Here we go, running up to the end of the game now. 4-0, oh, last crack of the whip, Gribbin throws it in. Oh, no, it's got to be it, isn't it? The blue, there we go, it's all over at the Stadium MK. MK downs 4, AFC Wimbledon nil. Where are AFC Wimbledon? They're dropping down now, down in 14th. They were up in... The playoff positions for part of the, the season are now six points away from it. Very tight, actually, in League One. But look at that. That puts us now 22 points clear. 22 points clear at the top. What the hell is going on with this team? Super OP. Right, passionate. That was very pleasing, boys. Very pleasing indeed. You that are on eights and nines. 8.8 .8 from Scott Wooten. Holy gamoli. 9.7 for Osmond's so soul. 2 and 2. Passionate. I'm very pleased. Sal still doesn't seem to like me that much. Which is annoying. I want him to like me. But I want to love me. But what a way to finish that episode. Uh, Nesbitt's out for 3 to 4 weeks. So Gribbin's going to get his game time. AFC Wimbledon hammered by the MK Dons. Osmond's soul with man of the match. Powerlight's out for 1 to 3 days. That's not too bad. Um, classy so on four of course let's give him a little you are superb in front of goal I do not want you to go anywhere please don't leave please don't leave you could kind of like like ease back a bit like let's win games but don't score so many goals don't show off until the end of January and then show off as much as you want um, but we're through then. We did what we needed to do. Yeah, we beat Rochdale 2-0. Goals from Ugbo and So again. Ugbo getting two in the Blackpool game. He didn't get any in that game there. But Paulette Walsh getting in. Sal with two. Look at that. Right, we play next. Northampton. Another, another uh, uh, local rival. But I don't think they're going to be trying to try down in 10th. We then play at West Ham's under-23s in the EFL Trophy third round. Could come back for that. Who knows? FA Cup. Where's the FA Cup fourth round gone? The FA Cup fourth round. We get either West Ham, my team that I support West Ham, or Portsmouth, who are in our league. That's if Portsmouth can beat West Ham, obviously. So, I mean, kind of, that'd be kind of nice to go against West Ham. See if we can challenge ourselves against them. Just thinking when we come back for the next game. Two, three, four. Five, go back for the Portsmouth. I kind of want to bring the West Ham on the 23s game. See if we can get through the EFL trophy. Do you know what? We might do that. We might do a weird double split episode. So we're going to come back for the West Ham under 23s EFL Trophy third round because that's a knockout. We'll play against West Ham and then we'll play against Portsmouth. We're getting like a view of the two teams that we could be playing in the FA Cup. So we'll do that. We'll have the two games in between, but that'll be fine. But it kind of gives us the break of five. But yeah, we'll bring the, the trophy, the, the checker trade. We think we want to win. I think, I'm still thinking I want to win it. It's stopped like backing itself up against the FA Cup now, which is nice. And then we'll play against Portsmouth because they're fourth. So they are doing quite well in League One at the moment. Um, and we could really, you know, put a plug to them. They might be a team to challenge for a little loss here. But yeah, we'll leave that there. We sit 22 points clear atop League One. We have 
the top three assist makers in the league. We have the top three average rating of players in the league. We have the top two goal scorers in the league. The top player of the match. Statesman has the most clean sheets in the... Da uh, hang on a minute before we leave. How has he got the most clean sheets in League One? I mean, maybe he looks like keep playing him and he'll just keep getting a bit better. He has now become our best goalie. He is the only one that can play sweeper keeper. But, I mean, he's played 25 appearances, conceded 20 goals. Let's have a look at his stats. I'm getting sidetracked here, but I need to do it. I need to look. That's not bad. 69% saved from shots. Held percentage is very poor. Well, maybe we look at his development and try and just train him in specific areas. I'm going to have a look at that. See if we can boost certain areas, but he's getting a lot of game time, so he should improve well. Yeah, just uh, it's very interesting that the goalie that we thought were terrible at the beginning of the season is now the top. They've got the top, essentially the top goalie in the league. Stranger things have happened, but I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new, and I shall see you next time for some more Wickham and Way action. Have a good evening. Bye bye.